When medication says, do not operate heavy machinery, they're probably mainly referring to cars. But my mind always goes to forklift. My mind generally goes to a caterpillar backhoe. I don't know why. Do Americans actually eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or is that some inside joke you all have? I feel like I've read this particular tweet before, and no, it's not an inside joke, unlike every single thing British people eat. Bangers and mash, bubble and squeak. What the hell are you eating? It sounds like it's just candy. I have to say, it sounds like candy. Oh, spotted dick. But no, peanut butter and jelly's real frickin' weird, right? Oh, is it because it's got a bunch of sugar in it? You know, that's it. I'm gonna come over there, and I'm gonna eat the food that you fought for years not to spice. Okay? Reminder, if a team runs itself for six months while you hire a manager, you shouldn't be hiring, you should be promoting. No, 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 no. If you do that, you have to pay a little bit more. But if I find some random D-bag off the street, well, I can pay him as little as legally possible. Ten years ago, my dad left highlighted Bible passages on the kitchen table for me to find, like, Abomination, Hellfire, You Shall Not Lie With a Man. Today, he drove my partner to work early this morning because it was raining and he didn't want him to get wet. Sometimes people take a little while to change. And yeah, in this case, change was definitely necessary, okay? Not sure what happened, but I'm glad that it did. I quit my teaching job and now make more bartending for 15 fewer hours a week. Also, I get blamed for way, way less and get told thank you way, way more. No lesson plans or grading papers. Remember this when people ask about the teacher shortage. Again, I believe I have seen this one before as well, and yeah, this deserves to be at the top of the all-time lists, baby. For sure. Teachers are treated so poorly, they're almost not even paid. I mean, I, I made more money working as a Comcast customer service rep than most teachers make after like a decade of doing the job. And I find that to be incredibly sad and incredibly pathetic. I'm the average male height at five foot nine. This vehicle should be illegal. Yeah, we've got some pretty messed up garbage going on in the streets here. I and mean, you paid a hundred grand to drive a dangerous brick around. I bet the gas is real annoying to pay for on that. No, seriously, that shit's real dangerous. You're close to just driving a semi around. <laughs> An anonymous tweeter pretended to be Eli Lilly and Co. Oh, whatever. Spent $8 to put out a fake tweet that insulin is now free. They lost $30 billion in market cap. This may very well be the best use of $8 in human history. Man, imagine that. Saying something that should be free is now free caused people to freak the hell out a little bit. Even if you knew it was fake. I mean, I kind of feel bad for some of those people that didn't know it was fake. You know, some of those people that saw that and thought for just a brief moment, oh my God, maybe this won't be as crippling as I thought. And then the company went back to charging God only knows for insulin. My plan is to use the money to get humanity to Mars and preserve the light of consciousness. Can you just frickin' pay taxes, please? I hate that man. Oh my God. Daycare workers who use horror masks to scare children charged with felony child abuse. Am I supposed to feel bad for them or something? I know I'm not. I know I'm not. I'm glad. Oh no. Is that the consequences of your dipsh? Actions? Oh no! Hope it sucks, ladies. The decision by Florida to allow veterans to teach without degrees isn't the answer to the teacher shortage. This wouldn't be allowed in any profession that requires a degree. Engineer, law, medical, etc. And shouldn't be allowed in education. I still... I... Oh my god. What a dumb frickin' idea, dude. What a dumb idea. This is wild. BMW is now selling a monthly subscription service for heated seats in your car. The monthly fee is $18, or $180 every year. The car will come with all the necessary components, but payment is needed to remove a software block. Welcome to microtransaction hell. It's not even microtransaction hell at this point. It's again, as we mentioned earlier with Mercedes, not in this video, it was another video, I record these all in one day, generally speaking, I work very hard, okay? As we were talking about with Mercedes, it's all about the erosion of ownership. Companies know they can make a lot more money if they don't actually let you fully purchase things from them, especially when it's a car. Why do you think you get called about warranties all the time? I know a lot of them are probably scams, but I've gotten a couple of calls directly from Toyota. I've been able to verify that crap before. They know you're never going to use it, but they want more money. More, 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 more. And if you own something outright, 
It makes it a lot more difficult for them to get more money out of you. <laughs> oh, BMW, hope you go bankrupt too. I know it's not going to happen, but I do wish it upon you. Millennials will make two times the amount of money their parents made, combined, and can only afford about a tenth of the same things. Inflation is a... Yeah, and we're the entitled generation. <laughs> yeah, look at us go. <laughs> we're so lazy and stupid. Pitch, who wants to be a millionaire? But the contestants are billionaires, so it's more of a threat. I would give you every penny. First guy, Elon Musk, please. I would give you every penny if we forced billionaires to be on a show like this. I'm seriously. Old gladiator times. An Arkansas school district installed 1,400 solar panels, saved 1 1.6 kilowatts of energy in three years, and turned a $250,000 deficit into a $1.8 million surplus. Now it's raising teacher salaries by two to three grand, and surrounding districts are copying its model. I know two to three grand is not not a whole lot out of a yearly salary, but dude, the fact they were able to do this in a few years on their own? That's pretty freaking legit, gotta say. It's almost like renewable is smart. Yeah. If there's a movie about Elon, I want him to be played by Kathy Bates. Sure, can we stop talking about- I'm really sick and tired of hearing about him and seeing his face. I was skeptical before, but after seeing his management skills in action, I think letting Elon Musk oversee the migration of Earth's wealthiest people to Mars is a great idea. <laughs> I know what I just said, but this one's okay. No, I like this one. I'd like to see what old Musky can do. Breaking news. Today I used a piece of wood that I kept in my garage since 2006 in case I might need it. Oh, you did it. You did what most of us couldn't do. You actually used something you needed. When the situation arose, Deacon, you were ready. You waited a long time. You waited since the launch of the PlayStation 3 to use that piece of wood. Look at you go. General Mills, CVS, United Airlines, GM, Audi, Mazda, Porsche, VW, American Express, Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, Levi Strauss, Spotify, Ford, Dyson, Forbes, DirecTV, Nintendo, Unilever, and PBS have all suspended ads on Twitter. Oh, I think we can add Apple to this list as well. My girlfriend's employer has sent all its 1,500 plus staff an email saying they need to start returning to the office over the next few weeks, and some brave slash insane soul has replied all with simply, no. I mean, what are they gonna do, fire you? No, that's literally the worst they can do is fire you, and it sounds like it's not worth working at this company. I mean, seriously. These companies, at their own expense, are forcing people to come back into property that a lot of them are renting, okay? When I worked at Comcast, the building I worked in was not owned by them. They rented it from, and I shit you not, CenturyLink. How much money would these companies save they just let us work from the houses we already pay for? Or the apartments we already pay for? Wild. But no, they have to make sure they can crack the whip on you a little easier. Wow. Mark Cuban launches online pharmacy that offers more than 100 generic drugs at an affordable price. For example, Cuban prices the leukemia drug, uh, well, drugs have terrible names, at $47 a month, compared to the nearly $10,000 retail price. Look, when it comes to billionaires, I'd say Mark Cuban's probably near the top of the okay ones. There's no such thing as a good or great billionaire. I genuinely don't think that, no, not even Bill Gates. I don't think that there is. How do you think they got to be billionaires? It wasn't by pulling themselves up by their bootstraps and working real hard. It was a one single great idea that they probably stole from someone else and then tons of exploitation, a lot of exploitation. But you know what? At least Cuban's doing something, right? I'm not saying Bill Gates didn't, he's done a lot. He has done a lot, but still, still, man, come on. It's something. I mean, look at Gabe Newell. The guy's a billionaire. Did you know that? He's a billionaire. I think he was a billionaire before he founded Valve. You wanna know why you don't know or don't care? Because he shuts the hell up. Crazy. When seven Wisconsin hospital workers quit to work at another hospital for better pay and work or life balance, the first hospital didn't try to match the second hospital's offer. It instead got a judge to issue a temporary order blocking the workers from leaving. Uh, sorry, no. You can't force me to work somewhere. I feel like there's a word for that. Pay or not, I feel like there's a word for being literally forced to stay working for a company or business. Huh. And the fact that I have to call a hospital a business is next level disgusting. LMAO at a billionaire earnestly trying to sell people on the idea that free speech is actually an $8 a month subscription plan. Your feedback is appreciated. Now pay $8. God, he's such a freaking three-year-old man. That photograph 
His profile picture? I don't think he's mentally aged since that day. What's going on with Airbnb? No bookings at all. Has anyone seen a huge decrease in bookings over the last three to four months? We went from at least 50% occupancy to literally zero in the last two months. I'm just curious if this is something only going on with my property or if other people are seeing similar things. I'm in Palm Springs. Where are you located? The Airbnb bust is upon us. Good. It's, I, I've never been happier. I've used Airbnb quite a few times, and I think it's a pretty good service, and you can get some really unique locations and cool places to stay without giving your money to a multi-billion dollar conglomerate like Hyatt or something like that, right? It's, it's good. It's good. It, it is useful. But people saw that they could make money off of something like houses and decided to turn it into something it shouldn't be. Homes are not for you to turn into a business. I'm sorry. At the, at the heart of it, I do hope Airbnb disappears. I'm sorry, man. Homes, houses, apartments, you name it, are for us to live in. We have a right to exist and survive and live places without you commodifying every aspect of the human condition. Stop. I hope that 0% occupancy hurts. Today, I went to my son's open house. The cafeteria went over lunch and breakfast costs. For one child to eat breakfast and lunch daily, that's 140 bucks a month. I saw the look of panic in many parents who didn't realize the free lunch program had ended. Universal free meals at schools must happen. It should. You know how much money we pay in taxes? Why aren't we feeding kids? Why aren't we feeding children? Oh my god! Why would Pennsylvania Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman have a tattoo saying, I will make you hurt? Why did you cheat on your first wife and then hand her divorce papers while she was dying from cancer in a hospital bed? Oh, I think you know why. A North Carolina school baptizes a hundred kids without parents' permission. My daughter calls me from school and says, Mama, can you bring me some dry clothes? I got baptized today. The parent of an 11-year-old told the Fayetteville Observer, What the holy hell? That feels like a lawsuit. A lot of this stuff feels like a lawsuit. Took my six-year-old to a classmate's birthday party today. He was the only other kid there. His parents thanked me for bringing him and said he was the only one their son wanted to invite because my son's the only one in school who's nice to him. Teach your kids not to be assholes. I feel like a lot of people do outwardly teach their children not to be jerks, but then they act like an asshole around the kid. So that's what they think being nice is? Be nice, say please and thank you. Meanwhile, I'm going to abuse the waitress at Denny's. My tiny Italian landlord strikes again. There's an attractive man here to see you. Ha! That's John. You can send him back downstairs. Is John going to be a regular guest? Well, John's a good friend, but he's gay if that's what you're asking me. You could get a straight guy here if you learn to make good pasta. This Sunday, come upstairs and I'll show you how to make a risotto that will get you married and out of my basement. I like this guy. I don't like landlords, but I like this guy. Same-sex marriage isn't gay privilege, it's equal rights. Privilege would be something like gay people not paying taxes. Like churches don't. One of the surviving kids on CNN. I used to want to be a police officer, but now I want to be a surgeon so I can help people. We should probably have a serious discussion about the ease with which a billionaire haphazardly purchased and immediately destroyed a company that employed 7,500 people and facilitated essential communication for hundreds of millions. While I can say he didn't actively and completely destroy it just yet, he did some unnecessary crap, that's for sure. Biden and the Dems got exactly 5% saltier and the Republicans started acting like an Italian football player faking an injury. Happens every time though, right? This is just clockwork. It's clockwork. It's all part of the playbook. You know the one. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Hey, Finnish people, how do I emigrate? I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man when you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. Please wait for after election, please. Why? No, why? why? Why should they wait until after the election? This definitely sounds like the kind of man who should be in office. <laughs> I understand it now. Oh, I get it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey lets you be as gay as you want. No, oh, here we go. This takes place in ancient Greece, right? The Greeks followed religious doctrine, so they would kill somebody for being gay. Therefore, if this series, which prides itself in its historical realism, apart from characters having an impact, is gonna add this, it's wrong. You think ancient Greece wasn't gay? I didn't know ancient Greece followed Christianity. <laughs> imagine, imagine thinking ancient Greece was super straight. 
Imagine that! Get a load of this guy! Holy sh**. Rand Paul just said he opposes health care for veterans because they can't prove they got their health problems while serving. These people pretend to support veterans. These people pretend to support veterans! And then they do this! Wow! Wow! You know, it is actually amazing how many people are always talking about support our troops, but the moment they see a Vietnam veteran homeless with a sign on the side of the road missing both of his legs, they suddenly don't care anymore. As a Canadian, this is how it feels watching American elections these days. Everyone gets a puppy. Diarrhea forever. That's what it's been ever since I can remember following elections. When it comes to presidential ones, anyway. Although lately it's kind of spread out to others to- You know what? You're just right about everything. How come Musk's money isn't real when he's supposed to pay taxes, but it becomes real money when he wants to use it to buy Twitter? I really don't want to get into it. I think you know why. Half of Twitter's top advertisers appear to leave the platform within a month of Musk's takeover. Just 50 Twitter advertisers have spent nearly $2 billion since 2020, and all seem to have stopped, according to a new report. I did hear a rumor which I cannot verify, I just heard it, I'm repeating it, I cannot tell you if it's true or not, but I heard that Twitter is probably one of the worst programs to advertise on anyway because the click-through rate is like 0%. The advertisers are spending billions for almost nothing in return. I mean, hey, screw them. Screw them. I, I get it, but still, I mean, <laughs> sheesh. The day before Betty White died, my husband and I had a discussion about her possibly not making it to 100. Yesterday, we had a whole discussion about the Queen and how we didn't imagine she'd live much longer. If you have a special request, let us know. Damn, did you just admit to killing the Queen and Betty White? No way. My Tupperware for the rest of their life after eating something with tomato sauce in it? I do hate that. I hate that. Reminder that Thomas Jefferson, who helped write the Declaration of Independence, also said we should rewrite the Constitution every 20 years so that dead people wouldn't rule over modern society. What aren't people talking enough about? How 70 to 80 year olds are generally regarded as unemployable due to mental decline slash skill mismatch, yet they're exclusively running the country. You ready for a radical statement? Here we go. An asthma inhaler that's sold to the Canadian people for just $27 should not cost the American people $242 for the exact same inhaler. Dick's Burgers in Seattle just upped its minimum wage to $19. It gives workers free health care three weeks paid vacation, 50% 401k match, and $9,000 for tuition and childcare. Its basic burger costs $1.80. But I was told that paying people a living wage would make burgers cost $20. You know, Dan Price, I've heard a lot of really bad stuff about you. It's all alleged. I can't prove anything. Your tweets are good, though. I administered Narcan to someone overdosing on my way to the movies tonight. When the EMS arrived, I let them know both the number of doses and how long ago so they could take over care. As he walked away, he said under his breath, people shouldn't have that sh Did you punch him in the head? My uncle expects the NFL to have six independent referees across the country look at video replays for a touchdown, but doesn't think police need body cams. Well, we can tell what he feels is important. Breaking. House passes bill to fight price gouging on gas. Every single Republican voted no. Remember that in November. They had a chance to help us with gas prices, and they all voted no. Well, they can afford their gas. Why should they care? Never saw a fireman stand outside a burning building because they were too scared to go in. Maybe that's why there aren't any screw the fire department songs. What the hell? Why is Mark Cuban lowering drug prices and not blasting himself into outer space or tweeting out narcissistic bullcrap? Doesn't he know how to billionaire? Apparently not very well. $20 a month to keep my blue check? Screw that, they should pay me. If that gets instituted, I'm gone like Enron. We need to pay the bills somehow. Twitter cannot rely entirely on advertisers. How about $8? Cannot, I mean, you can't rely entirely on advertisers ever since you took over. But it seemed like, according to uh, some information earlier, that apparently advertisers were spending billions of dollars? Oh, right, they're not there anymore. No wonder. Also, I love that Stephen King smacked you down so hard you instantly dropped the price to eight bucks. That was amazing. Athletes are prohibited from betting on games. Why? Because they could bet on their own game, then purposely lose or alter the outcome of a play. This is exactly why politicians should be prohibited from trading stock, because they legislate to enrich themselves or their donors. NASA just hired 24 theologians the theologians, theology, whatever, to assess how the world would react if we discovered alien life. And I have a feeling this subplot in the season finale of 2021 is planting the seeds for the main storyline of 2022. Well, I can tell you, it's almost December 2022, and no. How do men get through crap without crying? 
Bottle everything up until we die of stress-induced heart failure in our 40s like real men. Good morning to everyone except these two, Alexander Taylor and Myra Brown, who sued over student debt relief and got it struck down. Wow. Two very punchable faces, gotta say. I had an ankle fracture surgery cancel this morning because he couldn't afford his deductible. This guy will never run or walk without pain again. He will never work construction again. And he has insurance that he pays for, and he still can't afford his necessary surgery. It's just awful. It shouldn't be up to these doctors to do pro bono stuff constantly so that people can live normal lives. Julie Briskman was the cyclist who gave the Trump motorcade the finger. Donald Trump was so angry he demanded that she be fired, and she was. She was so angry she decided to run for office and defeat the local Republican candidate. She's been sworn in now. How old is this tweet? Tax the churches. Let's stop pretending there's any kind of separation here. They want to influence law? They can pay taxes. Biden refers to Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene as what's her name? That woman who believes in the... Anyway, that's how I talk about her. In 1978, a man I'd never seen arrived at my kindergarten and announced he was picking me up as a favor to my mom. My teacher told me to stop being a crybaby and get in his van. The 70s, man. I remember I showed up at my old elementary school, which still had all the people who recognized me and knew me teaching and working there, and I said I was there to pick up my younger brother, and they flipped their shit, pretended they didn't know who I was, which to be fair, they might not have remembered, and then almost called the police on me. Times have definitely changed. I love when customers say compliments to the chef. Like, sir, we don't have a chef. That's Tyler back there. He's 19, stoned out of his mind, and been cooking for three weeks. But I'll tell him. Also, my Twitter mentions and notifications conveniently aren't working tonight, so I was informed via text that I seem to have gotten under a certain billionaire's skin. Just a reminder that money will never buy your way out of insecurity, folks. Elon Musk created... Matt Wallace. Oh, great. You just sound great. Created high-speed internet available across the entire globe. Made rockets that can land themselves. Revolutionized electric cars. Solving paralysis through a brain chip. Solving traffic with tunnels. AOC. Bartending. Do you actually think Elon Musk literally did any of those things? Solving traffic with tunnels? Have you seen that crap? They're death traps. I'm sorry, that's the one that really got me. If you believe Elon Musk literally did any of that crap himself, or at all, whatever, man. Whoever thought owning the libs would be cheap never tried to acquire a social media company. You could be the dumbest billionaire in the world. You're trying to piss off the libs? Who the hell do you think buys Teslas? Conservatives? That Twitter engineer curb stomping Elon on his own website, getting personally fired after a snitch tag, and then immediately being recruited by another company, is a hero, an icon, the moment. Yeah, that was really, really funny. They really thought they got that guy good by firing him at his job that probably pays him more now. These dudes that think Trump cares about them are probably the same ones who think strippers really like them. Probably. Somewhere this Thursday, a guy's gonna brag over a dinner spread about how he got into the Capitol and never got caught. And his nieces and nephews are gonna turn him into the FBI, and the desserts are gonna be delicious. I never understood why masks are so stigmatized here in the US. I'm from Japan, where we've been regularly masking since before the pandemic. We feel a tickle in our throats? During flu season of all times? On crowded trains? Etc. Masking is our way of showing kindness to others. Oh, well, there's your answer. It's the United States. Kindness doesn't really factor in. And we just hit another all-time high in Twitter usage. Rome has never been this brightly lit at night! In 1988, the federal government banned metal-tipped lawn darts because a single child died from one. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of a certain group of people would call that woke and dumb and stupid, and we gotta bring that back. T-minus five years until I can call this place my office? Sure. Sure, little buddy. Didn't he... I swear to God, he tweeted something comparing himself to Jesus Christ. Pretty sure Elon just spent $3 billion in order to ban the account of that kid who tracks his flight. You mean $44 billion? Hell yeah, he did. And I hope that that account keeps coming back, baby. My sister used to say boys are easier to raise than girls. And after her 17-year-old son was admitted to a psych hospital, I realized the assumption of treating boys like they need less guidance through life is such a disservice to their mental and emotional health. Yeah, that's that. I have to say it. The term toxic masculinity, this is what it's talking about. That boys need to be men and men can't cry or be p***ies or have any of that femininity bullshit. We can't have none of that now. Men are supposed to be rocks. Rocks with c***. 
and that's all they're good for. They're also supposed to die first in pretty much every situation. And whenever we need to talk, uh, thankfully that that's changing. That is changing. I'm just saying, man, my mom's generation was messed up and the older millennials are messed up and well, everybody's messed up, but you know, for completely different reasons. The tears of the Republican who cheated to win in North Carolina as his own son rats him out during his trial. Oh, the poor baby. Kanye West is the biggest piece of crap on earth. Quote me. Pink knew. She always knew. Look, Pink has had her f fingers on the pulse of society ever since you and I could read. Look, she's been around a while. She knows her <laughs> Reminder to not be assholes to your local Russian-themed restaurants and businesses here in America. The 50-year-old grandmother who sells Poroshki did not invade Ukraine. That is true. However, if she outwardly supported it, maybe there's a difference there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be funny. It's not working. I get it. Fine. Okay? No, 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 you put that timer away! Put it away! If you don't like Trump's reinstatement or the way I'm running Twitter or getting several daily push notifications from my account, then delete the app. For as much as I know you're all stomping and crying, I know you won't because you're a bunch of crybabies addicted to the drama. Well, you're right about one thing, Mr. Musk. We are addicted to social media, and it sucks, and you are definitely playing into that. Because again, as I said before, billionaires know how to take advantage of the situation to make some money. And he's taking advantage of, what, like a hundred plus million people? How many people really actively use Twitter? It's nowhere near Facebook. Kind of small in comparison there. But if there's one thing he's correct about, it's that we are addicted to this shit. And that sucks. And I'm sorry to the video editor that has to go through over 30 minutes of me still saying curse words. Props to those guys. They should get paid a lot of money, and I know they do. You guys rock? You guys rock way more than Elon Musk. I can say that right now with complete confidence.